In this video, we'll walk you through creating your own certificate authority on Linux so that you can run HTTPS sites locally without issue. There are many Linux distributions, but Ubuntu is by far the most popular and it's what we used when we built Spinup WP. So for the purposes of this video, we'll be using Ubuntu. To get started, you will need the OpenSSL command line application. The majority of Linux distributions come with OpenSSL installed. If not, it can be installed via your default package manager. Here's how you would install it in Ubuntu. Then we create a location to store our local certificate files. This is not a requirement, but it makes it easier to find the keys later. With that set up, we're ready to generate the private key to become a local CA. OpenSSL will ask for a passphrase, which we recommend not skipping and definitely keeping safe. The passphrase will prevent anyone who gets your private key from generating a root certificate of their own. The output should look something like this. Next, we generate a root certificate. You will be prompted for the passphrase of the private key you just chose and a bunch of questions. The answer to these questions aren't that important. They show up when looking at the certificate, which you will almost never do. We suggest making the common name something that you'll recognize as your root certificate in a list of other certificates. That's really the only thing that matters in this scenario. You should now have two files, myca.key, your private key, and myca.pem, your root certificate. Finally, we're ready to add the root certificate to Linux. Let's walk through how to do this in Ubuntu. If it isn't already installed, install the certificates package. Copy the myca.pem file to the forward slash user forward slash local forward slash share forward slash CA certificates directory as a myca.crt file. And finally, update the certificate store. Now we're a CA on all our devices and we can sign certificates for any new dev sites that need HTTPS. First, we create a private key for the dev site. Note that we name the private key using the domain name URL of the dev site. This is not required, but it makes it easier to manage if you have multiple sites. Then we create a CSR. You get all the same questions as you did previously. And again, your answers don't matter here. In fact, they matter even less because you won't be looking at the certificate in a list next to others. Finally, we create an X509 v3 certificate extension config file, which is used to define the subject alternative name or SAN for the certificate. In our case, we'll create a configuration file called hellfish.test.ext containing the following text. We'll be running OpenSSL X509 because the X509 command allows us to edit certificate trust settings. In this case, we're using it to sign the certificate in conjunction with the config file, which allows us to set the subject alternative name. Now we run the command to create the certificate using our CSR, the CA private key, and the CA certificate and the config file. We now have three files, hellfish.test.key, the private key, hellfish.test.csr, the certificate signing request or CSR file, and hellfish.test.crt, the signed certificate. We can configure local web servers to use HTTPS with the private key and the signed certificate. If you're running a Linux environment which uses Nginx, you can use the instructions in our install WordPress on Ubuntu 20.04 series. If you're using Apache, you'll need to enable mod SSL and configure an Apache virtual host for port 443 for the local site. It will require you to add the SSL engine SSL certificate file and SSL certificate key file directives and point the last two to the certificate and the key file you just created. We don't have to create a new CA for each site. We can just repeat the last part of creating a certificate for any other dev sites. To make things even speedier, here's a handy shell script you can modify for your own purposes. Visit the link in the description to access the article and code shown here to help speed up this process. And that's it, how to become your own local certificate authority to sign your local SSL certificates and use HTTPS on your local sites. 
Hopefully this will eliminate those annoying your connection is not private messages on your local development websites. If you would like to create your own certificate authority on a Mac, iOS or Windows, check out the links in the description for videos on these topics as well. And as always, if you found this video helpful, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and we look forward to seeing you in that next video. Thank you.